sounds like you had some unexpected visitors out there. Those two beasts came out of nowhere. Who were they? Victor Creed and James Logan Howlett. But I'm sure they'd prefer to go by their current aliases. Sabretooth and Wolverine. Those two have been at each other's throats for decades. Wolverine? Then he is a werewolf? I did not sense that from either of them. Because they are mutants. Like me. You are like them? I will not be howling at the moon anytime soon, Hunter. It affects us all in different ways. There are some things you'll need to become familiar with in our post-atomic world, Hunter. Mutants being a big part of that. A blessing or a curse in the blood, depending on who you ask. I can explain further if you must know. In the meantime, I need to look into what's happening in New York. Wolverine is an honorable man, if a bit rough around the edges. Sabretooth, on the other hand, is a homicidal maniac. The fact that he's got his sights set on you is definitely not good news. Wait, you know Logan? Who do you think first told me about you? You'd be surprised how many people have found their way into these woods over the years. And once they do, they tend to find a way back. I doubt this is the last we have seen of either of them. Wonderful. Logan and I are not exactly best friends or anything. He's more my brother, Piotr's friend. Like I said earlier, we're all mutants. Not to freak you out or anything. You say mutant as if it is a bad thing. In some parts of the world, it is a very bad thing. You've been sleeping in the grave, so you've missed out on the anti-mutant hysteria. The Mutant Registration Act, all that crap. So it is safe to say that things in the modern world are not easy for your kind. That's an understatement. So you and these other mutants, you all know each other from Russia? Hardly. We're all part of the X-Men. I mean, pff, not currently. But I guess once you're an X-Man, you're always an X-Man. Just like a midnight sun. Hmm, I guess so. And this Sabretooth, he is a mutant. Does that make him an X-Man as well? Definitely not an X-Man. He and Wolverine go way back. Who knows what their feud was originally about. I doubt they can remember either. He has been tracking us for a bit. He was the presence I sensed at the docks. Are you sure it was him and not... something else? I hope this Wolverine takes care of him, so we do not have to worry about it. <laughs> you should be so lucky. Logan and Creed have been chasing one another's tails since before I was born. If Logan ever killed him, I think he'd be so overwhelmed he'd pass out. Thank you for explaining this to me. It seems I have a lot to learn. Of course. Mutant society is small, but super complicated. But all you need to know is that Sabretooth sucks. Having Sabretooth wrapped up in all of this is another headache we don't need. I can only hope Logan handles him swiftly, before he causes too much trouble. How much do you trust this Logan person? Quite a bit, actually. He's a bit prickly, but he's dependable. Too much else to worry about right now. I do not have much patience for difficult personalities. Stark and strange bickering are as much as I can tolerate. Well, Logan isn't here, is he? He's out there, in the world, still tracking Sabretooth. If we're lucky, he'll put Sabretooth away for good, and that'll be the last we hear of it. And if we are not lucky... Then there will be a lot more dead bodies in our future. I suppose there is nothing more to do but wait. 
I have a feeling we will be seeing more of Logan and Sabretooth. Oh, I'd count on it. I don't like to be touched. Blade, what is it? Caught a scent around the abbey that doesn't belong. It's faint, not enough for anyone else to notice, but it hit me again tonight. How's that dog of yours when it comes to tracking? You two up for a little hunt? I am sure Charlie could help, and I might be useful too. You can start right now. This gate won't budge for me, but maybe you can open it. She does not see it happening. Guessing you don't carry around a lot of keys. You sure that dog knows where she's going? No, but I trust her instincts. At least you're honest. Charlie will be the first to let us know if she cannot find the way. You two have a lot of conversations? I can tell you never had a dog before, Blade. That looked like... Some kind of jacked up shadow hound. If I didn't know any better, I'd say we just found the bar guest. But it can't be. The what? The bar guest. Legendary demon dog of the old country. Kind of thing you'd hear stories about around the campfire. A shadow hound could easily be mistaken for a spirit, but how would it have gotten here? Good question, but we're not gonna find the answer tonight. Let's head back before caretaker locks the doors on us. Damn, that thing is shifty. Looked like it knew we were coming too. I'm we should head back. Don't want Caretaker to come looking for us. You coming? I will be along shortly. Don't take too long. There are cracks in this wall. The Goddess disagrees. Worst part about that Hydra job? Manhattan traffic. Awesome! Thanks, Hunter.
Are you prepared for tonight's meeting? I am more than prepared. I am the Sorcerer Supreme. But yes, I am ready. Hunt. Tonight's the night for emo kids. You coming? Lead the way. And the emo kids are back for another deep dive into the night of your death. When can we start? Soon. Strange asked to lead tonight's meeting. He's prepping the... Ugh, I, I don't know what exactly. It involves a lot of weird math. While he's preparing his, um, the theorems, I guess? You should talk to Magic. She'll explain how we use ingredients. Have you spoken with Miss Rasputin? You received my message, yes? About the ingredients? Yes, but I came up short. This is fine. I also hate scavenging. Remember, ingredients make mystical trinkets. Excess trinkets go to you. I will provide a new list for the next meeting. Check your spark tomorrow. <sighs> Enough about ingredients. I said more words than strange. Has he prepared yet? I have plans for after. What plans? Solitary plans. All my preparations are complete. And now for a thorough explanation of this week's delicate divinations. However, Miss Minoru insisted I provide a summary, if you request it. I want to know exactly what you will do to me. Wonderful. Our previous attempt to tease out your missing memories was limited by the ritual's pentagonal fundaments. Okay. Are you familiar with the concept of a hypercube? Uh, what? Uh, no matter. A hypercube is far too simplistic. We must turn to the humble pentaract. Mm-hmm. Uh, more precisely, a decateronic inversion of the ritual framework. This shall augment the recovery of your memoria absentis. Sure. I've completely lost you, haven't I? Perhaps you could... Give me the summary. We do the same as before, but this time we zap you with more mystical power. That is it? <sighs> That's it. Shall we begin? Go ahead. Where do your memories last leave off? I was running through the Abbey grounds. Good. Now. Focus. And now, wake your mind from slumber. I burst into the clearing, expecting an army. Instead, I find her. She sits at the center of a muddy circle. For a moment, I wonder if she sleeps. Tell us, Hunter. Tell us who you see. I see the Mother of Demons, Herald of the Manifold Dream. She who tends what dwells beneath. I see Lilith. I see... I, I see my... Ugh! What's happening here? What, you, you got a spidey sense, too? I was taking a walk. I heard the chanting. Crap, I messed up the binding formula. As I most definitely told you, lemon scented is no replacement for actual lemon. What exactly is going on? 
The hunter's resurrection, though miraculous, was incomplete. We're attempting to restore a rather crucial set of memories. How Hunter killed Lilith the first time. You're not mad, are you? I'm not mad. But next time you do this, I'd like to observe. Of course! Next time. We should have invited her. Quiet, you. You are definitely making progress. How are you feeling? I am fine. About Caretaker? Uh, we never invited her because it seemed cruel to make her relive your death. I would have preferred to spare her the details, but now she knows. You're right. If we can't figure out how you defeated Lilith the first time, there's little chance it could happen again. I'll speak with her before the next meeting, smooth things over. And with that, we're done for the day. You leaving? That is it for me. Sounds good. See you next meeting. Hunter, if you're receiving this message, please come to the central console as soon as possible. That's... odd. Dr. Banner, you've re-emerged. I'm sorry, Hunter. Probably not the best impression of me. Uh, but now I'm back. And we are happy to have you back, Doctor. We were worried for a brief moment. Thank you for your concern, but I'm fine. Doing better than our comm system was. I was knocked offline by a spike in gamma radiation that tore through the electromagnetic spectrum. Bad day to be a Manhattan cell phone tower. But don't worry, I've isolated the problem here. No more blackouts, I promise. But I am concerned about the other ripple effects this gamma radiation could have caused. That's why I would like to scan you and see if the shifts in energy have affected you. Anything, if you think it will help your research. Immensely. It's quite possible it can give us a clue on how to counter this gamma shift. Just stand very still. You shouldn't feel a thing. And we're done. Once I analyze this scan, we'll all be much wiser. Thank you, Hunter.
Who did you want me to meet? Hunter of the Abbey, may I formally introduce you to the Hellride. I always like to show her to all my friends and just realize that we've been so busy beating back your mom's forces, I haven't had a chance to give you an up-close look at her. Gorgeous, right? Even without the extra hell sauce, she's a beast. She is one of a kind. As are you, Robbie. Uh, thanks, Hunter. You always make me feel like... I don't know. Like I'm part of this whole thing. Uh, don't get me wrong. I love Nico and the rest of the sons like family. But... Well... Sometimes I feel more like... Invisible by day, rattling chains by night. Know what I mean? You are not a ghost to me, Robbie. Maybe not, but I have a feeling the two of us are gonna haunt the armies of Lilith anyway. Avengers house guests are hogging the comms to chat with their best buddy, Bruce Banner. What about you, Spider-Man? Are you going to cozy up to the Avengers and join their little Earth's Mightiest franchise? Ha, what, me? An Avenger? Yeah, only in my wildest dreams. So you're throwing in with the kids, huh? I feel so... how do I put this? Like a consolation prize. I don't have to choose, we're all on the same side. <sighs> Look at that map. We've got emergencies all over the globe. Hydra is staying true to its multi-headed namesake. They are currently active in New York, Paris, Moscow, Singapore, Los Angeles. The list keeps growing. They call- With what, Tony? Avenger forces are spread thin as it is. Temporarily. We're back in contact with Banner and we still have the tower. And that's supposed to make us feel better? We thought we had the Sanctum until we didn't. Well, I'm sorry, Stephen, but your overrated metaphysical library is not my state-of-the-art militarized tower. It will hold. Hold what? Your ego? You'll need a taller tower. Oh, coming from the man who literally calls himself Supreme. Are you too finished yet? Every second we waste arguing, Hydra takes another bite out of yeah, our ass. Fine. Then let's stop arguing and take a bite out of their ass. Yeah, Let's just stop arguing. If Lilith doesn't kill me, this bickering... Could we speak in private? Will this lead to the two of us shouting at one another? I cannot see how. Then, yes. Nico needs help prepping for a magic surprise party. A surprise party? Have you met Magic? Why do you say that? Oh, just a feeling. What does Nico want from me? Can you handle the cake? Of course. The trick will be hiding the icing. Magic's sweet tooth can lead her to cupcakes at 50 paces. I mean never to piss you off, Hunter. Or insult Charlie. I think it's telling that not even Hydra wants to mess with Staten Island. I need to get something off my chest. Go for it. I can't stand vampire movies. Why not? Why do you think? They take vicious killers and present them as tragic and misunderstood. Mm -hmm. 
Perhaps vampires are making movies about themselves to garner sympathy. I used to think so. I spent a month in Los Angeles running it down. And? Maybe back in the day, but now, studios throw anything at the wall to see what sticks. That's all. Is that why there are movies about... What did Nico call them? Sparkle vampires? You know, I didn't hate those movies. Thought I would. Why not? Sparkle vampires don't exist. For me, it was fiction. Although, I did root for the werewolves. That was okay. So, did I convert you to anime? We better get back to stopping the prophecy now. Hunter, I snapped a great photo of you in action. You're all sorts of Kimbo's standing over a bunch of bad guys. Is it cool if I submit it to the Daily Bugle? Watching the way you handle yourself out there, Hunter. You're not bad. I was thinking maybe it's time you and I compare moves. Moves? As in combat? More like a friendly competition. A friendly competition, you say? Well, recently resurrected teammate competition has less of a ring to it. The feeling is mutual, Blade. How about we just fight already? Before we begin, is there anything else I should know? Yeah, anything goes. Just don't touch the shades. Now you want to say it or me? Say what? Ding ding. a favor oh excuse me my mind was elsewhere literally Caretaker said I need to be a team player, so I guess I'm letting you choose for me too.
It turns out Tony does occasionally make useful contributions. Hey, Hunter. Take your pick, Hunter. Oh, and I was just about to binge. Thank you, Hunter. Shh, 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 shh. Tony is working. Don't forget to write. That too. Caretaker, let's do this. New and improved. Awesome. Can't wait to see how this goes down. Robbie can summon health. Your name fits you well. I have never met anyone so sharp. It's been a long time since I've heard such nice things about me. I'm good to go again if you are. I don't think I've shared a common space like this since my days at the university. It can be a nice reprieve from the often solitary nature. Hail, Holy One! Or is it unholy? Hmm, yet to be determined. I suspect my cloak has taken to wandering the halls when I'm indisposed. No doubt influenced by some of the more depraved spirits roaming these grounds.
Apologies for the delays. Steve and I are holding down the fort here, alone, and given my condition, I'm just not myself. Yeah, because that's a new problem for you. Shut up, Tony. You're more than just the Hulk, Bruce. You're one of the most brilliant scientific minds on this planet. Indeed. And it's time for you to share some of that brilliance with us, Dr. Banner. When can we expect to see your findings? Keep telling you. Gremlins. Losing power. On arc reactors one and three. Facing complete defensive grid failure. Lilith. Impossible. Even for her. Okay. Improbable. Incoming hydro gunships. We're being completely overrun. Missiles targeting us. No, 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 no. Stay calm, Bruce. I am calm. I am always calm. Bruce! Keep working the comms. I may be able to restore the system if I can get close enough to the tower. What do you say, Junior? Think you could back me up out there in case Mommy Darkest arrives? Anytime. Dropping you to a position just outside the battle zone. A little extra caution. But better safe than sorry. Do not make it too far. Do not want to miss out on the fighting. Radioactive pigeons. It's a New York thing. Uh oh. Yeah, I'd maybe add a couple more O's onto that. I thought the doctor said your defenses were down. They are. Didn't say anything about our defenders, though. I'm Steve. Welcome to the fight. Fight or combat! Confidence is high. Incoming rockets, watch out! I'm glad you're all getting acquainted out there, but if you could focus your attention on those Hydra soldiers, that'd be great. I'll work on getting the defenses back online. 
but you're on your own until then. I could probably do that a little faster. I did design the system. We don't have time for your ego right now, Tony. Just an observation. Target confirmed. Not so tough after all. Time to rethink your life. Roger that. I know that wasn't your signature move. We serve until the end. Committed. Targeting systems active. Hydra really did a number on these systems. And what happened to the fail safes? Did you even have any? I'm not sure I'd brag about these designs if I were you, Tony. Oh, well, let me know when Banner Industries releases your model, and I'll be sure to take a look. Had your chance to escape. I feel more like myself every day. Attempt at concealment. Support units on the move. Serve our father. Getting closer. Power distribution is coming back online and should be able to reactivate the. Wait, what? Why are those even connected? But, but, we don't have time for your ego, Tony.
qualifications to be a Hydra officer? I had a guess a warm body, but I think Lilith solved that too. Let's do it. How much better can I get? Would stop me. Enemy still online. Confirmed enemy target. Reactors are online. Internal sensors are recalibrating. We're almost there. Just hold out a little bit longer. Understood. The devil is in the details. I find the devil is everywhere these days. I am going to enjoy getting to know you. No mercy for the servants of the land. That's gonna leave a mark. For that. It's you and me. We've got incoming fire. Bruce, I know you're under a lot of pressure, but... Can we get those defenses activated while there's still a tower left to defend? I think I finally got everything initialized. Won't be much longer. Hydra's commitment to cowardice remains unchanged. Much like their commitment to just plain sucking. <laughs> Maybe we will survive this battle unscathed. Never, ever say that. That's pretty much Hero 101. Right here. Okay, capital H U L. -K. Tony, 
Tell me your super secret code is not Hulk Smash. Don't be ridiculous. It's Hulk Smash 1234. Transmitting now. <sighs> Got it. Cute, but you're playing with the big boys now. Hail Hydra! Might as well line up, suckers! I'm here to get paid! That explosion just shorted out half our systems. Glad to hear it's working out. I'll be lucky if I can keep the reactor from going full overload. Love it when a plan comes together. We get it, Rumlo. Let's do this. Anyway, it can't be enough. Reinforcements. So that's your legendary savior? You're supposed to be Lilith's kid, right? Must be the runt of the litter. Come closer, Mercy, and I will show you just how hard this runt can fight.
Suits for me. You're not going anywhere. Down there. I'm a little busy. Perhaps if you could stop the hail of rockets from slamming into the facility, I could stabilize the highly explosive reactor. Ish, always so touchy. Our 
ally requires aid. Finally getting some face time with the big man himself. Always wanted to get a closer look at that shield of yours, Cap. It'll make a nice souvenir. That's what you wish for. Your mother abandoned. Ready for round two? Surprised you had the courage to come down here and face us yourself, Rumlo. Hydra suddenly pay you extra for honor? And miss the look on your face? Trust me, Rogers. Nothing could keep me away from here today. I kept we got incoming fire. Combat suit almost seems like cheap. Feel my call. We've done it. Pee-wee scout sure had me worried for a second. Was afraid I wouldn't get the chance to use this. Hold that thought. What's our status, Brucey? You good? Oh, yes. So good. Tony, was that a gamma burst? Why am I reading a gamma burst? 
burst coming from inside the tower? Not to worry, everything is fine, all part of the plan. Bruce, what the hell is going on down there? <laughs> Something far worse than hell, Tin Man. Like I said before. The Dark Mother thanks you so much for the Gamma Accelerator. Couldn't have done it without you, Tony. Did I miss something? He is lost to us. Fallen to my mother's corruption. Yeah, sort of a thing now. You played us. Well, played me. The code, this. Also, you could steal your precious accelerator. Fight her off, Bruce. We both know you're much stronger than this. Always trying to play the hero, Tony. Well, here's your chance. Save the world. Take the shot.